I am Shane with the Drum Center of Portsmouth in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We are on the web at drumcenternh.com, and today we are doing more variations on a theme. This is about the Big 26. We're focusing on some John Bonham inspired drum sets from Ludwig, and we have done this comparison before, as you may have seen in other series, but we haven't done them in Vista Light or Legacy Mahogany. Now, John Bonham did use Vista Lights for a while, as I'm sure you are aware. However, he never used the mahogany shell, so we're just taking inspiration from his sound and obviously doing something a bit different. The same could be said for the cymbals that we're using. We're using Peisty Big Beats, which are a more heavily hammered version of the 2002 or Giant Beat series, and we are using the Formula 602 Sound Edge Hi-Hats. The configurations that we are using are the exact same sizes. The 26 by 14 inch bass drum, a 14 by 10 inch tom, a 16 by 16 floor tom, and an 18 by 16 floor tom. The snare drum that we are using is the time-tested, best-selling LM402. It's a 14 by six and a half, aluminum alloy superphonic. It's the one they've been making for years. It sounds awesome. We wanted to showcase both of these kits in a couple of different tunings with a couple of different players so you can see the versatility that exists with drums that are this enormous. I know you might think that you can only do one thing with drums like this, but that's not true. They're really incredibly versatile and I commented earlier on just uh, the, what a joy it was to play these. It was just, it was so fun. I don't know the last time I had this kind of joy playing a drum set up here. It's kind of special. It's so nice. I love the fullness of the sound. There's just such a, a real uh, feel to the, the air in the room when I play these drums, more so than when I play smaller drums. I hope that makes sense because it kind of does to me. Before we get started, allow me to remind you to please click that subscribe button so you get notified when we post new videos like this. If there's anything I have learned about myself in 2021, it's that I am really coming to like acrylic drums. I've never been much of an advocate for them. Um, however, in the last video we did with the Tamboro volume series, I found myself very pleasantly surprised with those. And here we are a few weeks later, I'm playing the Ludwig Vista Light and I'm experiencing the same level of joy playing these big pink drums. They sounded great. They had tonality, they had power and presence, and they had the right heads on them. The silver dots sound great. My bias for acrylic is just going away slowly.
The Legacy Mahogany has been around for a few years now, and it's a real sleeper in the line. And this is a return to the old three-ply mahogany shells with maple re-rings. And to me, these drums sound great when they're in that, those big sizes because it reminds me of the big band drums like the old Ludwigs, WFLs, Slingerlands of that era. They have an enormous sound and I, we did a video when they first came out and I, I, I likened the sound to that warm analog sound that is just covered in lint. It just has this big fuzz, boom, dark, awesome thing going on. And sometimes I just, I forget about them because I tend to gravitate towards the classic maple. But these drums are just so special uh, and just sound great. It wouldn't be complete if we didn't use this Speed King bass drum pedal. Now me personally, I fought with this thing the whole time, but hey, we sell a ton of them, people love them. Good for you. If there's anything I have learned about myself in 2021, it's that I am really coming to like Speed King bass drum pedal. What a joy it was to play Speed King bass drum pedal. Which kit did you like? We'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. To learn more or buy these drums or cymbals, they're right in the description below. As always, thank you for the support.